MLB League Division Series Division Series Division Series 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 MLB League Division Series hadn't uh, overdone all the research I want to do for these matchups. I did more research than I needed to and uh, therefore I had to wait longer and I couldn't have it done earlier on Thursday because I had to start my first day at my brand new job but yeah it's done now uh, thanks for waiting I hope you still enjoy the video yeah there'll be some I talked a little bit about the first games of the American League S Divisional Series just a little bit, but um, overall, my predictions will remain the same. Hello and welcome back to Broadserve Media and more Major League Baseball playoff predictions. In this video, I'm just doing the American League Divisional Series. So we have the Boston Red Sox against the Cleveland Indians. The starting pitchers for this match are Rick Porcello and Trevor Bauer. Rick Porcello leads the entire league in wins and he has also a great area in strikeouts as well. Trevor Bauer is a pretty good pitcher himself however Rick has 10 more wins than him so obviously it's Rick Porcello is a much better pitcher at least for the first game as the series goes on we'll see what happens. Both the Boston Red Sox and the Cleveland Indians are very high scoring teams. The Red Sox lead the entire league in runs and the Indians are third in runs. They're both very good hitting teams. The Boston Red Sox lead the entire league in batting average. The Cleveland Indians are tied for fifth in batting average with the Texas Rangers. Both these teams have a lot of power and a lot of speed. The Red Sox are seventh in home runs and the Indians are 13th. The Indians are fourth in stolen bases and the Red Sox are 10th. Now let's go to team ERA. The Indians are in seventh. While the Red Sox, their starting pitcher has the advantage against the opposing starting pitcher for this first game, it's going to be a lot more even later on. And the Red Sox are tied in 8th place. Both these teams are very versatile, very balanced. Great hitting, great at scoring runs, great at stealing bases, great at hitting home runs, great pitching. The whole thing, they're, all, they're both great at all of this. The Red Sox closer Craig Kimbrell only missed two saves this year. However, his ERA is 3.4, and that's sort of towards the danger zone in a closer's ERA. But then again, he's only failed to close two of his save opportunities. Cody Allen only missed three saves, and he has a 2.51 ERA. So that's pretty good. So I'd say both these teams are quite even. This is a pretty dang hard series to determine. Typically I would go for the Red Sox in this because they have so much more playoff experience and they've already, you know, won the World Series three times in the last, you know, 13 years. So of course, I'm going to pick the Cleveland Indians. Wrong. Sorry Cleveland fans. I'm picking the Boston Red Sox. They have all that playoff experience. The Indians are just, the Indians are better at pitching, but not by a whole lot. And the Red Sox do have the best batting average and have scored the most runs. So, Red Sox. But it's going to be very close. It's going to be five games. Now we go to the other American League matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays against the Texas Rangers. The Blue Jays are bringing out Marco Estrada, who has a very solid ERA. Unfortunately, he only has a 9-9 record. So, I guess he's got the short end of the stick in some games. But he's got a great ERA. The Rangers have Cole Hamels. He's 15-5, and his ERA is 3.32, which is mighty impressive. And just as before, here, is, here are the Rangers and the Blue Jays, just like last year. Now, as stated earlier, the Rangers are tied for fifth with the Indians in team batting average. The Blue Jays are in 23rd. But they're both much closer in how many runs they score. The Rangers are 7th, and the Blue Jays are ninth. The Blue Jays are only 25th in stolen bases, but the Rangers are in 10th, 
So we can see some stolen bases from the Rangers. We're probably not going to see too many from the Blue Jays, though. The Rangers' closer is Sam Dyson. He's only blown five saves, and his ERA is 2.43. And the Jays' closer, Roberto Osuna, is also quite impressive. He's got a 2.68 ERA. He's only blown six saves. Although that's getting a little closer to dangerous territory for a playoff team. It's not dangerous territory, but it's getting there. Kind of, sort of getting there. The Blue Jays are 6th in Team ERA, and the Rangers are 22nd in Team ERA. Now, usually, when two teams face each other in the playoffs again after seeing each other recently in the playoffs, at least that's what I've noticed, is that generally the team that won the previous time wins again the next time. Um, and I think it's just a coincidence. It's not always true anyways but I think it's what it, I think it's gonna happen again this time while the Texas Rangers have a considerably much better batting average than the Toronto Blue Jays the Blue Jays on the other hand have a, a much better ERA than the Texas Rangers the Rangers have more speed the Blue Jays have more power it's gonna be very even it should be and um, this time I think the Blue Jays will beat the Rangers. I think it will end in actually about four games just due to their much better pitching. Stay tuned for the NLDS predictions. I was going to have that done right now, but I still haven't found out who won between the, the Giants and Mets by the time I created this video. If you saw my wild card game predictions, you'd remember I was wearing a Sharks hat and <laughs> If somebody actually asked about it. The funny story is I couldn't find this hat. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. It was hidden underneath actually another hat. <laughs> so that's why I found it. Wearing the 2013 AOS West Division title hat and shirt for the A's. Because <laughs> with how they're playing now, they're probably not going to win their division in quite a while. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please share this video with your friends and family, people who enjoy baseball, let them know about my videos, as I'll be making more and more of these videos in uh, the very near future. All right. The National League Divisional Series will be coming tomorrow, so look forward to that. Share this with your friends and family, let them know, and stay tuned for that. And please subscribe. The Championship Series will be coming up as soon as all the teams are determined. So look forward to that and see some more predictions. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this with everyone you know and love and spread the word. Thank you.